Hey guys, um, happy Thursday. I'm doing a bonus video today because of a lot of questions I'm getting. I felt like it's just faster to get a video out to you guys to explain everything. So I'm talking about pneumonia. That is the hot topic in all of the mom groups right now. Everybody's talking about it and I'm getting tons of texts about it. So I'm gonna just come out here and talk about pneumonia. So specifically, walking pneumonia. That is the big question right now. So we call walking pneumonia also atypical pneumonia. So atypical pneumonia, walking pneumonia, same thing. Um, most pneumonias we have seen, at least in my career over the last 10 plus years, are typically caused by a bacteria called, called staph or strep, okay? Um, but this year we are seeing pneumonia caused by more of an atypical bacteria. And when we see that, we call that atypical pneumonia, AKA walking pneumonia. So that's where that kind of comes from. Also called walking pneumonia because a lot of kids are just walking around with this. They um, might not be 100%, but they don't look that sick. So they're not feeling fantastic, but they're also not like laying at home curled up in a really ball. They just call it curled up in a little ball. They don't look super sick. Um, they're able to still go do their activities. They're going to school, doing all the things, coughing, spreading their germs to everybody else, and then everybody else gets pneumonia. And that's just how it works in the world. So um, how do kids present with this? Well, typically they're gonna be a little bit tired, um, maybe some headaches, some low grade, low grade fevers. They're a little bit sore, body aches, basically everything that sounds like every other viral illness we see, which makes it super tricky. Um, they get a little bit of a cough at first, but it seems like the cough will progress over the next one to two weeks. So you go from having maybe like a really mild cough to all of a sudden you're having really big coughing fits. They're not able to sleep at night because they are up all night coughing. And so that's how it morphs and changes a little bit, which helps us determine what exactly is going on. So you might not have this bad cough at first, but then it progressively gets worse. Don't panic if it is not diagnosed right away either. You know, if you call your pediatrician and you've got a cough and a fever for one day, most likely they're not gonna jump on like, oh my gosh, this is pneumonia, we need to dive into this. Um, most, likely, most likely it's gonna be like, hey, this might be a viral illness. It might be pneumonia, but let's kind of watch and wait and see what happens. Um, unless we know you have a close contact, like somebody living in your house like had pneumonia two weeks ago, then we're going to consider that higher risk. But otherwise we might sit and wait a little while before we jump to the next steps of diagnosis. Now, um, we can listen to the lungs to help try and diagnose it. Not always is it picked up with just listening though. I mean, I can attest to that. I've seen many patients here where I've listened to their lungs, horrible coughs, they sound 100% clear, um, but due to how long their cough is going on and their other symptoms, I've sent them for a chest x-ray and their chest x-ray is positive. So, you know, that's just the way it is. And that's why we have these extra modalities to help us when needed. So sometimes we do pick up on it and we hear it and sometimes it just can't be heard. And um, that's just the way it is. So there are multiple ways to diagnose this. Um, it is treatable too. We have to use just a different antibiotic. So if you get an antibiotic, it's not something that um, you would typically have in the past that we use for pneumonia. So just be aware of that too. Hopefully this is helpful and everybody have a good day. Bye.